It's fascinating to see how Greg LeMond, a renowned cyclist, has continued to innovate and make a significant impact on the electric bike market. His early success in winning the Tour de France on a carbon fiber bicycle in 1986 showcased his penchant for pushing the boundaries of technology in cycling. Now, as the brainchild behind Le Monde Bikes, he has taken the lead in creating some of the lightest weight carbon fiber electric bikes available today. The Prologue Commuter and the Dutch Cruiser, weighing in at just 26 and 27 pounds respectively, are significantly lighter than most other e-bikes on the market. This weight reduction, combined with the hidden electronic motor system, contributes to a sleek and approachable design that caters to cyclists of all skill levels. Le Monde Bike's philosophy is centered around making electric bikes accessible to a wider audience beyond just the hardcore cycling community. The company believes in creating bikes that are simple, friendly, and free from unnecessary visual clutter, making them ideal for various lifestyles and biking experiences. By blending cutting-edge technology with superior design, Le Monde Bikes has emerged as a pioneering company that revolutionizes the way people perceive and experience biking. With their lightweight electric bikes, they offer a compelling option for those who want to enjoy cycling adventures with ease and style. Rediscovering the joy of cycling with an e-bike is easier than you might think. Countless Le Monde owners have fallen back in love with riding after years away from their bikes. Give it a try, and soon you'll be cruising along the roads, wondering why you didn't hop on sooner. Enjoy the freedom, fun, and adventure that cycling brings back into your life. design is sleek, it's intuitive, it's simple. It really is the closest thing you can get to like a bionic extension of your own body. When you put Greg LeMond's name on a bike, people pay attention. From a racing perspective, you're always looking for the next edge. There are days where I just want to get somewhere and the e-bike just makes that so much more possible. You hit our assist and you ride and you need a little help, uh, it's there to help you. You can actually ride like a professional rider without being a professional rider. Cycling is about adventure, it's about sensory overload. Just plug it in and then go. And you could actually go just as hard on e-bike and get the same workout as you can on a mechanical bike. This is really game changing. To win the Tour de France was my dream, but nobody had any clue what I was going through. Physically and psychologically, trauma changes the person. When I started cycling, Americans could never compete against the Europeans. For me, it was like, oh my gosh, that was my dream. The first American ever to pull on a winner's yellow jersey. That was the most magical thing I've ever experienced. We were scheduled to go back to Europe. The phone rang and they said my husband had been shot. Bicycle racer Greg Lamont was hit by a shotgun blast while hunting in Sacramento. They have 45 pellets throughout my body, one pressing right on the main artery. The cardiologist said, I don't know how you survived this. A hundredth of a millimeter more, you'd be dead. Everything that I dreamed of was taken away when I got shot. My team sent a letter, you're fired, go find another team. He was depressed and it was awful. That's when I realized that I just need to get back into racing. I just was like, together, we can do anything we have to do. I do not quit, <laughs> even though I want to. Part of that resilience has been Kathy. She was truly the foundation that kept me going. The battle between a Frenchman, Laurent Fignon, and an American, Greg LeMond. There's so much pressure, so much tension in the air. Fignon picking on Greg, he wasn't going to take it. Greg punched back. You can see he's really suffering, Greg. He's got to empty everything he's got out of himself. Ah! Greg LeMond is riding for his life. This is my race. This is me. 
cycling for him was this pure and good thing. It's going to be the most exciting end in the history of the Tour de France. This is going to be incredible. Okay. Hello, uh, Greg Lehmann for me is my, uh, is my favorite cyclist. Uh, when I was young, I, uh, I do a competition cyclist, cyclist competition, I don't know. And I see uh, Greg Lehmann in my country, in my um, department of Limousin. Greg Lehmann, Miguel Indurain is for me, is, uh, is my best cycling. No American has ever won a stage in the mountains before in the Tour de France. And when the seconds go off the screen as he crosses the line, we'll see whether he's done enough to take the overall lead away again. But this 10-mile climb to the finish was the moment Greg LeMond had waited for. The chance of revenge over his teammate Bernard Eno. The chance to get his own back on what he did a day ago. And LeMond takes off in pursuit of Andy Hampstead. He catches him, he leaves him. And but what people love when they ride is inertia. That's why the, even the spinning bikes indoors, um, they have this high inertia. And it, it's, it's been proven with high inertia, people can work out deeper and harder. And so that's part of the magical part of cycling. When people start cycling, as they get in better shape, they go faster. The faster they go, they get more inertia. The more inertia gets, the better it feels. So it's like a cycle. And I think what's great about e-bikes, it accelerates that jump from um, this painful part, pain point of riding, getting up to that point to where you're in good shape, where you start having a, a, a good time on it. And I always believe that, you know, Getting people on bikes is really so important for their health and fitness. And contrary to everybody thinks e-bikes, you can work out just as hard on an e-bike as you do a mechanical bike. Exactly. You just go faster. That's all it is. Good man, how you feeling? Doing great. Hell yeah, dude.